everyone. This is Said Love with his Devil's Advocate Podcast. Hope you're having a good day. If not, hope tomorrow goes better. I will say we are still in Corona. And in my last podcast, I didn't promise we weren't going to talk about Corona. I just said, if I had nothing else to talk about, we could. And obviously nothing's happened in the last week or so. So guess what? It might, it might come up a conversation. But I will say I tried to have a podcast last week, but unfortunately I had technical difficulties. So I do apologize for, I guess, my few subscribers, you know, keep strong. But last week I kind of did have a topic. I cannot talk about that no more because time has passed. I will say I was going to sing this song. It's the final count. That's as far as we're going. I'm not trying to get copyrighted or sued by whoever sings that song. So whoever sings that song, it's a good song, by the way, but I'm sorry, I don't know your name because I'm not a person who listens for artists. I'm more of a beat man. I'm more of a song guy. Like T-Pain, I like the dude, but at the same time, I think he had like five songs out before I really was like, oh, Steph, that's who that is. So, you know, you know, like Final Countdown people, I'm like, but either way, the point of the Final Countdown is this past Monday, Tuesday, I actually thought I was going to get fired. I literally thought my time was up. It didn't happen, but same time, I'm kind of happy. I got money to pay bills. But, you know, like I was going to lead into, you know, the final countdown. Like, not me, but in general, people thinking they're going to lose their job. Like, the pressure of, like, oh, snap, is it going to be me? Is it not going to be me? What am I going to do if I lose my job? But you know, either way, I can't talk about that because, you know, I still have my job. We're going to talk about that probably a year from now because a year from now, I might have a different job. But, again, topic for another day. Also, very, very Side, side note, cran cherry. That shit is delicious. Sorry for the cussing, but it's delicious. If you have a certain alcoholic beverage with can- cran cherry, hey, it's delicious, man. Hey, hey, Publix, Walmart, Dollar Tree, probably don't really know, but you know, cran cherry, delicious. But as I said, because of technical difficulties, the things I kind of want to talk about, I couldn't talk about, but. Because of today, we're just going to talk about this random stuff. Today, we do have a special guest. You've seen her in two of my YouTube skits. And if you're not seeing them, you need to go back and look at some of my YouTube stuff. I got like 60 plus videos. I'm again, I'm not trying to gloat, just saying I have a lot of YouTube videos. Still going strong. Either we have a special guest. Her name is B Fury. Say hello, B Fury. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Standing ovation, everyone. Standing <laughs> ovations. But as I said, Probably like 40 seconds ago. I have a timer in front of me, y'all. So, you know, that's the thing. But as I said uh, 40 seconds ago, we really don't have a topic today. It's more just like talking in general. But since I have a special guest, I'm just going to ask her a few questions. So hopefully she has opinions. So hopefully she has answers. And if she not, you know, I tell y'all with my soulful, non-Urkel. I said it, non-Urkel voice. <laughs> so, Miss Beer Free. Beer Free? Be Fiery. Be Fury. Be Fury. <laughs> Say it again. B Fury. How do you spell that? B F I O R E Y. I don't think that's a word. It's not. Okay. I made it up. Okay. <laughs> B Fury. So, Miss B Fury, we are currently one month and a half, but mostly for us, one month in for this Corona thing. In what way has your life changed? Uh, well, I work from home now, so that's a big change development. Uh, get to do webcams with my associates every single day. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same. I still play video games at home, watch TV, dance in my living room, so not much has changed. It would be nice to see the family from time to time, but otherwise, everything's normal. So when you say see the family, where is your family located? Uh, currently located out in Buford, Georgia. So I'm more inside, or close to Atlanta, Georgia. It's a little bit farther, so... That travel distance kind of puts a damper on things. Let's get very specific. How far do your family live from you? Uh, maybe like 30, 40 miles away. Okay. So even in this corona time, would you consider seeing them or would you actually follow the government's rules of, you know, closure, quarantine Definitely the type to follow the rules. Uh, I don't want to put my parents at risk. Because for all I know, I might be asymptomatic, but, you know, God forbid if you give it to your family. So it's just best to kind of just be safe. Everyone stay in their own homes, corners. You know, if I do visit them, I would, like, you know, kind of keep it outside. 
six feet distance, you know, no hugs, no kisses, none of that stuff. So in about two weeks, and whenever y'all listen to this, I'm going to still keep my two weeks, it's going to be Mother's Day. Will you still see your mother? Yeah, I definitely want to see my mom, but again, that six feet distance, you know, might have to get one of those wagons and push her flowers and chocolate to her for Mother's Day. Where are you putting the wagons? Well, you know, my sister has uh, two nephews, or my I have two nephews and a niece, so they have a wagon. I'll just put the flowers and her gifts in there, push it to her. So you're going to drive to your sister's house, pick up a wagon that probably has corona on it, put it in your car, <laughs> take it to your parents' house, put the wagon outside, and kick it two feet? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, all Six mothers feet. out there, happy Mother's Day. That is what we're doing. We're pushing wagon-type gifts towards your house. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we're going to do that with the mothers. But as we have said, so for corona, we have been in this for about a month, month and a half. I personally am going to predict we're probably going to shut this down, let's say, end of June. So let's say beginning of July. Miss B-Free. Did I say that right? B-Fury. I'll get that one day, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. But B, let's call you BF. BF. So for BF, um, Jan, eh, July, when we actually are out in the world, again, I'm making an assumption on this, what will be something you're definitely going to do? Hmm. Shopping. Definitely want to go to the mall again. Go shopping. Go to some clubs, you know, maybe a hookah bar too. So with this shopping, more masks, more gloves, more Lysol? Uh, definitely still going to try to not touch my face. Uh, I probably won't do the glove thing. I'll probably still bring my mask though, just to kind of keep myself from touching my face. I will say that's a good idea. Masks are in now. Yes. Mask off. Mask on. Wow. <laughs> I'm keeping that in, by the way. So, wow. <laughs> okay. So, shopping. Are you personally buying for yourself? Buying for your friend? Buying for your, you know, boyfriend? You know, who's awesome? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, he's very handsome. I met him to die for. <laughs> um, I pretty much buy for everybody, yeah. It's a lot of birthdays that were missed. Speaking of uh, birthdays, <laughs> since we're talking about that, I know we talked about Mother's Day. I think something else is coming in two weeks. Your boyfriend, we not going to mention him, but in about two weeks, his birthday's coming around. You know, he not old. He not young. He not good 29-year-old. What does your boyfriend want to buy him? What does my boyfriend want to buy him? Or what does your boyfriend want you to buy him? <laughs> uh, He wants Legos. Uh, He wants to build something. Can't be under $20. Definitely has to be way over that. Oh, what's, but, his, you know. what's, what's I'm, 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 I'm just assuming he said this. What you mean way over? Not like way over. Just can't be under twenty dollars, because you can't build nothing with Legos under twenty dollars. But it's by definition, Legos is Lego. So even if it's twenty dollars, you can build something. But, but with is twenty dollars, it, it ain't about what is it is. It it's more like car? twenty dollars take you like an hour to build. Six dollars take you like four hours to build. You might take a picture, put it on IG. Just saying. The price tag kind of means some. Also, kind of means on age, because most Legos is like six plus, age wise. Sixty dollars is like six plus age wise with like adult supervision. So I'm just saying, in your mind, what type of Legos are you thinking of buying your boyfriend? Um, maybe something from Marvel. Um, I did see a couple of things. I don't want to disclose it, cause you know. When did you see these things? Uh, that's classified. How's that classified? When you start working for the CIA, what's up, man? It's classified. You said too much. Who's we? <laughs> when did there become more? Is there somebody else in here? I see you over there. What's up, homie? Give him some coffee. Oh, word? Word? Okay. That's how we doing over here in the corona. So $60. Marvel. Mm-hmm. Maybe Spider-Man. I mean, he's kind of part of the universe, so I guess, yes. All right, we're going to write that down. Gonna write that down. All right, so your so-called boyfriend, again, to die for. Birthday in two weeks, you know, not important, just throwing it out there. So, any other inputs you have right now while your host has to come up with questions? Because this is hard. So, come up with topics. Well, everyone stay home, stay safe. You know, learn that self-isolation does not mean, you know, you can't do fun things, so... Find hobbies and activities to do while you're at home, be it by yourself or 
with a significant other or, you know, with your family, your children. Just find a new Oh, problem. without a question. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting like y'all. But I don't know why it popped in my head. Do you remember definitely within the last year? I would say months, but I can't remember the specific months. But within the last year, we found out T.I. I was called Teddy Pender. That's still T-Pain. Y'all, Teddy Pender kind of had like. Wait, wait, wait. T-Pain's full name is Teddy Pender? No, it's a nickname. It's like Sierra. They call her C.C., which is literally Sierra. There's literally no NAS name, his but we call her CC. It don't matter. It don't matter. So yeah. his name's Teddy. What? It's not his real name. It's oh. a nickname. Oh. Teddy Pender. I was about to say. It's just a name. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other nicknames, but names. we got a nickname for Beyonce, Usher, Chris Brown. Queen B. Ugh. Uh, anyway, T.I. T.I.P. I feel like he got a third nickname, but I don't know it. T.I. said, which later on he went on Jada Pickett's Red Talk to clarify either way. What I heard, I don't think he really clarified it, but that's just me. He said that when his daughter goes to the gynecologist, correct? Am I correct yep. on that? Yeah. He goes to the gynecologist. He says he goes in there with you. Well, with her. Y'all, talk fast. Anyway, yo, this cranberry or cran cherry, it's good. I mean, the other <laughs> thing that's with the cran cherry, I mean, it's also good. Alcohol beverage. But that cran cherry, man, that tastes good. Anyway, T-I-T-I-P said he goes in there with his daughter. As a female XX chromosome, how you feel about that? Why would he call himself a female XX chromosome? You're a man. XX like, chromosomes for women. So, 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 why is he calling himself that? He didn't, I'm calling you that. Wait, I'm so confused. As a female, as an XX chromosome, how oh. do you feel that T I T I P, some third nickname that I can't come up with at the moment? Goes in there with his daughter to the gynecologist. From the surface level, I don't think it's a good idea. I feel like she's old enough to where she can go to the doctor by herself to be checked out, you know, and have that private conversation with her doctor. Um, even if she was to have it with her, the daughter or something like that, I feel like I, I, it's just weird. I don't think he should really be doing that on the surface level. But, you know, going deeper, it's not really my business. I mean, maybe there's a reason, but I personally don't understand why. I think it's weird. I looked it up. She's actually 18 years old. So basically when this came out, she was probably about 17 years old. So 17 is still technically not adult. You don't see nothing a little different, a little, little weird about that? Well, going to a gynecologist, I feel like you should be 18 and over. If she's going at the age of 17, I feel like the mother should have been there, not the father. I mean, I get it, he's trying to be that good parent, but it's just awkward and weird and strange for a 17-year-old girl to be going to the gynecologist with her dad just sitting right there. It's like, again, we all don't really know what's going on in that room. You know, maybe he's just asking a couple questions because he's concerned about something. Who knows? But, but he's but he's in there, though. That's Yeah, that's, that's weird. But yeah, that's the topic. It's not even like what, it's just like he's... Physically inside that room, the room with her and the yeah. doctor, yeah, and possibly the mother. But you know, like there. he shouldn't be in the room. Well, uh, uh, that's a little different. What you say, like to me? So you now no, saying? No, I don't think he should be in the room. Mm. I don't think, as a father, you should be in a room with your your uh, daughter with the gynecologist. I, I don't think they should do that. Yeah, they shouldn't do that. No. Hmm. Would you it's let your father awkward. in there? Oh, no. Well, oh, 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 there's a word that was going to come before that no. <laughs> oh, hell no. There we go. There we go. So, I didn't know if this was rated G. <laughs> sometimes it is, sometimes not. It kind of depends how I feel. So, as a man, as myself, as my XY chromosome, you know, was that biology? Biology. Took it in 11th grade. Eh, it was all right. I remember I had to get a physical. It was for baseball. Let's get physical. Physical. Nope. nope. That costs money. <laughs> so I had to get a physical. White woman, blonde hair. Not important, but you know, gotta, you know, paint the picture. She was touching that area down there. Guess who's in the room? My mother. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest just made a face. Not important, but you know, it happened. Just saying. The point is, at the moment, I didn't know what was gonna happen. She, you know, yank, pulled it down. She said, Cough. 
I. Oh, that's so awkward. She said, "Do it again." <laughs> I mean, at the time, I don't know. I really didn't think hard while she was there. I just it, there. So I'm saying, so a father being in the room. Here's one little different. So the physical I had for the baseball team that I actually couldn't join because I had to move, I had to do it once. The gynecologist, how often do you have to go? Once a year. Once a year. See, T.I. said he goes, so the way he phrased it, I go. So he's been there at least more than once. Let's go more than three times. So in that first time, what am I looking at? Around that second, third time, T.I. know what he's doing. He know when to look. He know when, what questions to ask. So it's not the craziest thing for a daughter, well, for a daddy to be concerned. Most people are freaking out because, like, oh, she's 16 plus. Why is she doing that? I'm just saying. We don't know how long he in there. He's had an interview since doing it. We are definitely late to the game. But while doing this interview with my friend, BF, just because her name is Fiery. Be Fiery? Be Fury? Be Fury. That name. It, it came off my head. So, from Be Fury. Correct. There we go. Be Fury. It seems that it's weird. Shouldn't be done. But at the same time, some parents are just concerned. Some parents can't read the room. And some parents... Actually, I mean, some doctors actually don't say the words, you can't come in. Sorry, you can't come in. But also, in that same phrasing, the son or daughter actually don't tell the parents, eh, I don't want you in there. Now, T.I., he may not be the richest man in the world, but he make the money. He pay the bills. Maybe the daughter wanted like, mm, daddy, sit this out. Maybe she was like, daddy do kind of own like half a land. Okay, so you never know. You never know. But same time, it happened. Apparently more than once. So with that, maybe at a certain point, she was cool with it. Who knows? I repeat, I've done no research on this, so he definitely probably clarified it. But let's go back to the first time we heard this, and we all had that same face. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> ah, be like, that was a fun, fun, fun time. Well, not really fun. It was just more like, huh. Can't believe that. That was me. Can't believe T.I. T.I.P. Third nickname that I'll probably come up with and find out about one day. Can't believe he did that. So with that, probably got one more specific topic to talk about. I just came up with a remembrance. Something that popped in my head that I bring up a lot with this so-called special guest B.F.B. Fury. B. Fury! There was one time you was chilling with your boyfriend. Again, to die for. Chilling on the couch with him, watching the Mask of Zorro. Came out, I actually don't know when that came out, so I ain't gonna bring it up. But yeah, watching the Mask of Zorro. She felt a little twig, a little twitchle. She didn't think too much about it. She thought it was just like, you know, leg spasm. Oh, God. But then she felt that little twizzle again. She flipped the cover. And, and be very BF. What did you see? A roach. Where was this roach? On my leg. Yo, the funniest thing ever because ladies and gentlemen i'm not sure if she can let me tell the story but that was one time that happened in florida it was definitely flight or fight her boyfriend grabbed her and was like yo we finna run because i care about you i care about my safety but when that roach came up he was like ah get off every man for himself literally Shame. he blacked out for like 20 seconds because he was like ah roach who else in this room don't matter i see a roach Get off. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Whew. And it truly shows you the depths you would go for your loved ones. For certain instances, dangerous, destructive, crazy. You would grab your individual and say, hey, me and you finna run the safety together. But other instances, if I'm roaches, not flying roaches, because oh, that's just a different topic. Other instances involving roaches. Every man for himself. And all the boyfriend, again, to die for. The boyfriend, he looked at her. She screamed, bloody hell. She said, ah, roach. He was like, ah, get off me. <laughs> so, BF, be fairy. How do you feel about that situation? Well, no, no, because no, there's the two incidences on that situation. Two incidences. First one. How do you feel being at your loved one's house? Roach crawled on you. Second question. How do you feel that when you was like, ah, Roach, get off me, that another person was like, ah, get off me? How do you feel? Walk me through that. 
Never in my life did I ever think that I would have a roach crawl on my body. Whoa, 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 but it isn't the first time this is. happened I'm gonna say to back me. it up. You lived in New York, but yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This, oh, not even in New York. It was like probably a couple months before that incident. I had a roach crawl on me at my own house. All right, so if the boyfriend was Ooh. here, he would say the words. See, he don't feel so guilty. Roaches at her house. Roaches at his house. See, the mayor got roaches. Who got roaches? The mayor. Who's the mayor? I don't know. So why you bring up the mayor? Everybody got roaches. But why you bring up the mayor? <laughs> like you specifically said the mayor for a reason. For a joke. Ah, oh, yeah, that didn't land. Dang. No. I tried. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't like how it felt. I felt used and abused. I felt the disease crawl on my leg, and it was big. It wasn't small. It was a big roach. Ugh. The boyfriend was here. He would definitely ask, "Was it big?" He cannot remember. He blacked out for like twenty seconds. As for being pushed off. I was expecting someone, you know, to handle this roach situation. To but do no, what? You I were, was left with you the were roach. laying on the boyfriend, so he couldn't like reach and slap the roaches. Like left ah, with ah, the roach is too far. Can't do nothing with that. All right, get off me, handle that roach, cause I can't be here right now. Man, it was every man, woman, and child for themselves at that moment. And roach. And roach. Did that roach die? Did we? Did... Oh, oh, we killed it. Oh, we killed it. So the roach got killed. Oh, yes. Right. It went under the couch. We had to move the couch. Good couch, by the way. Got bought at Outlet Furniture. They sell cookies. Was it Outlet Furniture? What about the couch? Underground Furniture. Bought that couch at Underground Furniture. They sell hot cookies at the counter. Delicious. It was really good. But, yeah, that roach died that day. It was huge. We almost, we almost didn't make it. New York huge? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. Sweet. We're growing big here in Atlanta. You know, that's what the boyfriend said. <laughs> Any the memories boy, on that roach? Boyfriend. Do you miss it? No. <laughs> no. It died. Mm. Good for riddance. Oh, with that, any last words for the roach? I hope he die again in the afterlife. Well, technically roaches don't die. You know, when we drop nuclear bombs or like, you know, Japan and stuff like that, roaches don't die. They're indestructible. Well, we... What's up with that? Do we all need to cloak ourselves in roach gear? Go to the roach outlet? Yeah, you be pulling, don't you? so hard for these jokes. <laughs> Whew. Well, with that topic, Miss BF Beefery. I don't know why I keep doing it. T I T I P third nickname, BF Beefery. T Pizzle. I, oh. <laughs> oh. I wish T I was in here right now to Oh, he would sue me right now. That was just, that was bad. It's that like was bad. H to the Izzo, but now we got T Pizzle. That's you sound like you're peeing. Wick <laughs> Either way, BF, what, what are we sponsored by? Toothpaste. That's the brand. We are sponsored by Toothpaste. That stuff's minty, isn't it? Back to you, John. Y'all, if I could do a face palm right now, which I can, <laughs> but you can't see it. But if I could do a face palm and you could hear it, either way, as I said, really didn't have a topic this week. Because of technical difficulties, yes, I was sad. For those four dates. But I felt real good after I fixed that bad boy. It's like when an old person fixes the Wi-Fi at their house. You feel real good. But at the same time, once I fixed it, too many things had passed. So I couldn't really talk about things I want to talk about. So hopefully, this was a decent podcast. Because this marks a very joyful day. Because today was the first time ever Devil's Advocate Podcast had a special case. Which her name is... B. Fury. Anyway, B Fury, as you saw in the last YouTube video, she does have a TikTok. She does have an IG. She actually has a whole lot of other stuff like Twitter and Facebook, which and Facebook is not called B Fury, but anyway, she got all that. So please follow her on those social media platforms. But hope today, which was definitely a different Devil's Advocate podcast than normal. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And I will see you soon. This has been sponsored by Toothpaste. Stuff's minty, ain't it? Back to you, John. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Jingle, jingle, jingle. This is our jingle.